local refugee help group has wrapped up their time in Warsaw, Poland. The Outreach Foundation visited the country to aid people fleeing Ukraine. News Channel 5's Kyle Haran talked with them about their trip and also talked with a Ukrainian man currently sheltering in Kyiv. When we last heard from Mark Mueller, he had just arrived in Warsaw, Poland. Here's some of their story. People with the Outreach Foundation were there to gauge the needs of the millions of refugees who fled Ukraine. What he saw was the devastating effects of war. I mean, you saw pregnant mothers walking long distances, uh, barely able to move, having traveled so far, walked so far. Uh, you've seen little children, you've seen baby carriages, you've seen uh, grandmothers and grandfathers uh, trying to get out of harm's way. Refugees are trying to escape the bloodshed. We talked with Oleg Vasilevsky, Let me... who currently is still in Ukraine. This family. He, along with others, including several children, seek shelter in a former cafe in Kyiv. It's partially underground, and so they feel it's a safer place to be in the event the building is bombed. When you come to Kyiv, you realize how serious everything is. And it seems people seem to be very coordinated. He says people still in the country are helping each other, but there is also aid coming in from other countries. Bezosvi took his phone outside to show how people currently are living, but also so we could try to hear the artillery. And you can even uh, hear the windows trembling, and sometimes it's further away because they're trying to they're trying to cut Kiev from the uh, supply of food and uh, any kind of humanitarian aid and and weapons. And so they they had over seventy percent of Kiev. They besieged Kiev seventy percent. Yeah. <laughs> It's right there. You can hear cars alarms went off somewhere around the building. Mueller says it's a serious situation and raising awareness is important for them to continue aiding the people here. Kyle Horan, News Channel 5. Thanks, Kyle. Those with the Outreach Foundation have actually moved on to help refugees from other conflicts, but they say they will soon return to their Franklin office.